In the very near future, there's already magnetic braking, but in the very near future, there's going to be a whole array of new technology that's going to revolve around hubless, frictionless, magnetic clutching. Okay? You see this gigantic thousand dollar monster magnet here? It'll just crush you. If you get two of them between you anyway. Um, if you take a gauss meter, I don't know if you know what a gauss meter is, it measures uh, flux, magnetic flux. But what a gauss meter can't tell you, okay, just like a scale, okay? A scale could say there's a human body on the scale, but it can't tell you whether it's a dead human body or a live human body, for example. It says there's a body there and it weighs 50 kilograms, or whatever it weighs. But it can't tell you whether it's alive and kicking or whether it's dead, right? Well, a gauss meter can't tell you the difference between this and this. This is a point of centripetal convergence. There is literally like the drain when you pull the drain on your bathtub. <whistles> centripetal convergence here. This is increasing inertia and acceleration. This is increasing force and motion. But if you take a gauss meter, and you take a reading here, 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 and here, it will tell you it's incredibly hot. This is an irrefutable fact. 100% irrefutable. By the way, you should have your uh, physics professor watch this video because he'll never be able to explain it to you. Do you think modern science really understands what the hell a field is? A field has no quantity. The gigantic 800-pound gorilla that craps on the head of modern physics and modern quantum is the fact that everything is fields and fields are not particles. There is no chance of atomistic, materialistic philosophies and principles ever explaining cosmic mechanics and field theories. Why? Because fields are not particles. Okay? So ask your science or uh, physics professor to watch this video and see if they can explain it, because they never will. They'll piss themselves, they'll drool on themselves like a lobotomized moron because they have no explanation. There's no book on Earth ever explaining this. Okay? High Gaussian flux right here, tapers off right here, increases, increases, very high right here. Roughly, depending on the magnet and how it's created, it'll be roughly the same. Plus or minus about 5% from the dead center right here to the centrifugal edge. You can see this best using an enormous monster magnet like this, which is just... You can actually feel this too, by the way. If you actually uh, experiment over it, it makes your eyes hurt. It does. It, it makes your eyes hurt. That's due to cryptochromes in the human eye. It's the same thing uh, we have that birds have. That's the way they're able to navigate, is via magnetism. So this has nothing to do with the lens law. So if any idiot out there says that what I'm about to do has anything to do with the lens law, you're an idiot. Because lens law never, no way, shape, or form, nor does Maxwellian field equations, okay, ever explain the difference between centripetal convergent magnetism, which is not really magnetism, and centrifugal divergence. Okay, listen up closely. If an idiot science professor or physics professor is watching this, or someone that uh, has their head up their butt and thinks that they know, oh, everything's no. We know stuff. You know, we got computers, we got technology, we know stuff. No, you don't. You don't know a damn thing. Okay? There's no book on Earth, nor is there any field equation that makes any differentiation between this magnetism, which isn't magnetism, and this. This and this. You take a Gauss meter, you can take an empirical measurement between here, here, and anywhere. But it will not tell you the difference between this and this. Okay? Understand that first. If you don't understand that, then you got your head up your butt. It's irrefutable. It's undeniable. There's no equation for this anywhere. Got a Gaussian flux of X. We got a Gaussian flux of X. Therefore, the empirical uh, uh, quantification of a said result or outcome or experiment should be Y. You can't predict that. Frictionless, hubless, clutching. Let's uh, take a look at that, okay? Let's spin up the gyroscope using a motor. Got a high rate of spin there. Let's place it right over the dead center. Oh, nothing. Spin, spin, super happy. Oh, that's Lenz Law. Lenz Law makes no differentiation between centripetal convergence and centrifugal divergence. Nowhere, no way, shape, or form does Lenz Law or any Maxwellian field equation describe the huge difference between this spinning all day long 
If not for, of course, there are bearings on the top and the bottom of this precision uh, gyroscope. And this, not touching anything, immediate slowdown. You see how fast that broke? Let's take a look at that again. Have your physics or your science professor try to explain this, because they can't. They'll piss themselves. They'll poo their diaper. They have no idea. There is no book on Earth, and I own every damn book on magnetism ever written, from ancient to modern. No explanation for this anywhere. Oh, maybe there's something about magnetism modern science doesn't comprehend. You're damn right. It makes no differentiation between this point of centripetal convergence. Hear that nice hum? Frictionless, hubless clutching. I'm going to shift clutch. All I have to do is shift the spatial variance between point A and point B, and we have frictionless, hubless clutching. You can call that lens law if you want, but it's not lens law. And by the way, descriptions are not explanations. Repeat, descriptions are not explanations. I can describe something in great detail. I can have a blind man measure a horse. It's this tall, it's this wide, it's this, it's got a furry coat, it's this and that. It doesn't tell you a damn thing about a horse. Not a damn thing. Descriptions are not explanations! There's no aspect of Lens Law that will differentiate this point from this point because of the exact same Gaussian flux. Lens Law nor any Maxwellian field equation can tell you, knows anything about, talks anything about this versus this. Why the Gauss meter says this is the same as this. A Gauss meter doesn't know anything. A Gauss meter is a blind device that measures flux over time. All Maxwellian field equations have a temporal variable. A temporal variable. They are time-dependent vectors. They don't measure the quality of something. What the hell does that mean? That means that a 50-watt light bulb, okay? You listening closely? A 50-watt light bulb is not the same thing as a 50-watt laser. A 50-watt light bulb is something good to read by. I don't know if any of you have ever tried, but I've been messing with lasers for a long time. But a 50-watt laser, unlike a 50-watt light bulb, will burn a hole from the front of your chest through the back of your damn spine, like that. That is the difference. Quantification, qualification. Descriptions are not explanations, kiddies. Science, no branch therein, and especially quantum, has ever described or differentiated this from this. And I can tell you right now, this is only one of many different experimental criteria which are repeatable by anybody that will tell you, including the prism I did in the prior video, because light is electrical. Longitudinal dielectric, transverse electrical magnetic, light is a coaxial circuit. Magnetism is the most fundamental principle in the universe. Nothing is inescapable from huge, strong, coherent fields. And this is one huge, coherent field. This is a gigantic monster magnet. You drop it on your foot, you'll break your foot. I mean, it's just a, it's expensive, it's huge, it's enormous. Right now, the metal top of this table is metal. It's actually pulling its way, right now, through this box. I uh, should have put it on a heavier box. You see how it's pulling its way through the box right now? If I leave it, I've actually got padding inside this box, but if I left it here overnight, it would pull its way right through this damn box. Okay? Difference. Here and here. Same thing. Well, maybe a 50 watt light bulb is exactly like a 50 watt laser. They're both light. They're both 50 watts. They are both radically different. Centripetal convergence, centrifugal divergence, they're both magnetism. There is no difference. There is no book in physics. There is no book in quantum mechanics 
There is nothing from Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, Charles Proteus, Steinmetz, James Clerk Maxwell, that will tell you, talks about, mentions, or describes the difference between this and this. And this is not this. Why, well, sure it is. It's just a big, gigantic magnet. It's all magnetism. Yeah? Sure, and if I whip out my Gauss meter, I will read a flux density of X here, and a flux density of X here, and it's intermediate right here. That doesn't tell you shit. Let me repeat that. That doesn't tell you jack shit. And if you don't understand that, then you don't understand anything. But that's okay, because nobody else does either. Think about that. Everything I've said is irrefutable. There is not any book that you're going to pull out of your fanny, your cute little waxed fanny, from any branch of physics, science, quantum mechanics, anything from Tesla, Faraday, James Kirk Maxwell, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, anybody, anybody that is going to talk about what I just talked about and what I just showed you. Because there is no distinction made between this and this. Zip. But there is a huge... Mother Nature is laughing at you. There's a huge difference between this and this. Apples, oranges. Oil, water. Fire, water. You get the point? Good. Think about it, okay? Loxi Veritas. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. You know, I'm all about uh, wisdom and understanding. I am a pathetic little creature that does, however, have to pay bills. Um, I'd always take a pizza as a donation. I love a pizza. <laughs> Many more magnetism books to come. And, of course, my book on magnetism, as always, is free. I, uh, I'm working hard on the fourth edition of Uncovering the Missing Secret of Magnetism. That book is totally free for download from archive.org and many other places, and uh, I will see you later, okay? Bye.